Great friends, uh, welcome to the Art Cake Experience channel. Today I have a very special, uh, very short but very special tutorial for you. I made this piece for um, for a cake collaboration that is about Christmas wreaths. A uh, funny story, uh, it wasn't going to look like this. It was going to be totally different. And one of the things that I did before I got into this design, that's why I always say, I think the sugar paste talks to us and tells us like, no, I don't want to go there. It's like, no, it's not happening. So uh, it was going to be a hanging uh, Christmas wreath made with um, gelatin leaves. I made a bunch of gelatin leaves and I decided to film and to record all the process of how to make the paper and the gelatin leaves. But then I decided that I was going to do something different. I started working. I didn't completely like the whole look with gelatin. So I added some sugar paste and I keep adding and I keep adding. <laughs> and from adding, this is what happened. It ended up to be an elf <laughs> sitting on top of uh, not in the middle. It's like a like a swing made out of a uh, Christmas wreath. And then I made the balls, and then I was like, no, I need to be sitting in a, in a wooden uh, base. So I made the wooden base. Like I said, this this thing stuck to me. It's like the elf wanted to come alive. It's like no, no, not just the Christmas wreath. We need an elf. So this is what happened. However, I uh, I do have all the images of the gelatin leaves, and I decided to add a few. I'm going to show you here, like this one's here, this little guy here, or this little things. See, it adds a lot of shine into the design, even though it's not all gelatin leaves, but it does give some transparency and some uh, shine to the to the complete piece. And so I'm going to share them with my sweet friends at the Art Cake uh experience channel so what you're gonna watch next is the um, the tutorial of how to make gelatin paper into these uh, gelatin flowers with the help of some molds i'm going to leave in the descriptions below the link to the page where i bought the molds even though it was years ago but i'm sure they still sell them if not i'm gonna find out where they sell them so you can buy them again i'm not a sponsoring anybody or any product i just share with you what i like and what i think it works uh, uh, i just want to ask you to stay here um stay tuned watch the whole video and i really really hope that you try to do the gelatin leaves and you can leave me a comment, you can send me the result of your work, you can show me the pictures. Uh, if you have any doubts, just let me know. Thank you so much and I hope you like it. See you later. Hello my friends. So the ratio that we're going to use today is 3-2. We're going to add 3 tablespoons of water with 2 tablespoons of neutral clear gelatin, powder gelatin. Uh, as you can see, I'm kind of using a sprinkle technique and not mixing all the gelatin because we want to hydrate the gelatin and let it bloom. Now make sure that all the gelatin is in the water and uh, you can mix it now that is all together and let it rest for at least one or two minutes so the gelatin absorbs the water and blooms. After that, you can put it in the microwave and um, heat it in low temperature for about 30 seconds. When uh, it starts to look like this, when it starts to melt, and you can see this light cloud on top, it means that your gelatin is almost ready. If you feel that it's too thick, you can add one more drop of, one more tablespoon of water, like I just did here, because for the paper and for mixing the color, I think it was a bit thick. Now to add the color to this gelatin, I'm going to be using a little bit of dust, green dust. This is Il Punto Italiana green dust that I'm mixing. When you mix the, mix the dust, make sure to mix it very well because you can see that it, ha it has a little bit of lumps, so mix it very well until you cannot see any more lumps of the dust. If your gelatin is start to create too much uh, lumps or too many lumps is because it's too cold. So just heat it a little bit and it will be easier. To now mix. to create the leaves, I'm going to use these molds made by Gelatin Designs. I bought them online. I'm going to leave you all the links below so you can you can purchase this online. Um, what I'm going to do is, or what I'm doing as I'm brushing the preparation of the gelatin on top of 
this uh, this sheet that already has the mold for the for the leaves. If you want a thicker leaf, just brush it a couple of times, make it two layers. If you want a thinner leaves or, or a softer one, just brush it once. I'm going to do two layers because I want them to be hard enough so I can place them into the Christmas wreath. I'm going to use the whole sheet because I'd rather have more than less. Uh, later I will decide if I'm going to use them all on the Christmas wreath or not. Actually I didn't, but I'm going to decide later. I'd rather have more um, different kinds of leaves that I can choose from. So this is a different technique. I'm using um, sort of like a plastic case for papers, those that you find in binders, um, because what I want to create is some sort of paper that I can cut uh, leaves or, or ribbons later with this preparation. Um, I'm using this in different parts, as you can see, not the whole thing, because um, I don't want it to be too wrinkled. I'd rather do sections than the whole uh, plastic uh, case, because otherwise the paper tends to wrinkle a little bit. But to try it at home, see what's best, uh, what works best for you. Now, with the use, the preparation starts to get in cold and getting thicker. So I just put it back into the microwave for a little bit. So it will melt and it will be thinner. And now I'm adding some shine, uh, some luster dust. So my paper can have some glow and some shine as well. And I'm going to use the same technique that I did before in top of a plastic case. You can already start to see the shine of the luster uh, dust on the gelatin. This looks very pretty to do ribbons or to do bows or to do, you know, different accentuations that require like fairy wings, uh, require some, some shine. So I let my paper dry overnight uh, in a dry place and this is the result. As you can see from the molds, it comes out very easily. From the plastic case, as you can see also, it tends to get a little bit wrinkly, but uh, that's why I create small uh, pieces that I can later cut. Now with a small scissor, what you have to do is just cut the shapes of the leaves that you decide to use and you have it already done. Uh, you can store this in an airtight container for, I have leaves that have as long as five years with me. As long as you keep them away from moist and from humidity, they last forever. Keep them on paper envelopes, uh, keep them uh, on plastic cases, but always away from humidity. And you can al always have some leaves and some wings or fairy wings ready to use. Uh, some ribbons, you can cut them uh, to, like right now I'm cutting a leaf from the paper so you can have like a different kind of, of, of texture there and mix it and max, mix it with the other leaves. So, but remember you can store this for a long time as long as you keep it away from humidity. I really hope that you have liked this tutorial. As I told you, it was very short, but uh, I hope it's filled with useful tips on how to make the gelatin leaves. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this uh, The Archaic Experience channel so you can be up to date with all the tutorials and all the things that I'm doing here for you. Thank you so much and as always guys, stay safe and stay creative. See you next time.